Okay, so what we need to do is find complementary and supplementary angles. So to do that, what I'd like you guys to do is remember complementary and supplementary, right? You gotta remember before you get to trig. So let's go through this. Hopefully um, this has been presented to you so before. Complementary and supplementary. All right, now, before when we were talking about these two values, um, we use angles and we use degrees, right? And we said complementary angles were going to be two angles when added up gave us a right angle or an angle of 90 degrees. Supplementary were two angles that when added up or combined gave us a straight angle or an angle of 180 degrees. And we used those very importantly in geometry. Now, what we want to do for trig is now we're going to look at, well, what is the equivalent to 90 degrees and to 180 degrees in trigonometry? Well, let's look at our unit circle. And if we remember, we start at our initial side. To go halfway around our circle, we denote it as pi, because it's pi, you know, pi radians around. And all the way around was 2 pi. So essentially, supplementary means you're going to have two angles, theta plus theta prime equals pi. And then, for complementary, halfway between 0 and pi would be pi divided by 2. So complementary would be theta plus theta prime. These are my two angles, equals pi over 2. So now, if I give you an angle here, and I want to explain to you how to find the complementary supplementary angles, that means this angle plus my supplementary angle equals pi, or equals pi over 2. Or I could just say pi divided by 2 equals, sorry, theta prime, which is going to be my complementary angle, equals pi over 2 minus theta. Now the problem is, remember, the definition says what two numbers add up to give you 90 degrees, or pi over 2. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this value is larger than pi over 2, or so therefore I do not have any complementary angle. So this doesn't work. Right? If I said what two numbers add up to give you, what two angles add up to give you uh, 90 degrees, and I say one of the angles is 120, well, you can't add you know, a negative 30, 30 degree angle. That, you can have a negative distance, but you can't have a negative angle. So there is no complementary angle if you have one angle that's already larger than your 90 degrees. However, for supplementary, we can work with this angle because it is not greater than pi. So what I have again is theta prime, which is going to represent my supplementary angle, equals pi minus theta. So theta prime equals pi, which is going to be, in this case, uh, 12 pi over 12 minus 11 pi over 12. Now why did I change pi to 12 pi over 12? Well, because I know when to subtract in fractions, I've got to have the same denominator. So I automatically just change that to 12 over 12 so they could have the same denominator. 12 minus 11 is 1 pi. So therefore, the supplementary angle of 11 pi over 12 is pi over 12. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you determine a complementary supplementary angle when you actually don't have a complementary angle, but you're getting a supplementary. Thanks again for watching. Hope it helped.